fireworks. <laughs> Welcome to Country Stitchers. I'm Liz. Hi, I'm Deb. And we're doing an episode of Floss Friends today while we talk about something very exciting. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. are going to share with you the collaboration that we've been working on with Beth Twist. And of course you'll see some of her patterns back here that I had and Deb had that we put out just to look at. <laughs> and we are so excited because we found a pattern that we loved and Beth worked with us to make it something that reflects country stitchers mm -hmm. that you can join us in stitching. Yes. It's from the choose your own motto pattern, which is the border. And then she has a motto in the pattern that she's been selling in the shop, but she custom does mottos for the center. And she worked on ours and we now have shared the joy of needlework. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. I and, love the font. Oh my gosh. And it caught our attention because it's so similar to the class we took with her. The flower border oh, yeah. matches mm -hmm. this tin that we did mm -hmm. in our class. Yep. And that was so much fun. Yep. So this is what Deb and I are going to work on today. We're going to mm -hmm. start our projects. Yes. And um, there was something else I was going to say about that pattern. Um, oh, well. Uh, It'll yeah. come back to me. But now you get to share the joy of me to work with us. Yes. And as many people want to participate, there's no limit on this. It's Country Stitcher's project for the year, but it is basically a stitch along. Yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who stitch slower, you'll be stitching with me. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who stitch quickly, you'll be stitching with Doug. <laughs> Um, so anyway, if you'd like to, uh, share the joy of needlework with us, you can go to her Etsy shop, um, Heartstring Samplery, and click on the, um, the motto pattern, the choose your own motto, choose your own motto pattern. This and, is the actual oh, yeah. pattern this, that you'll see. This is it. And then there'll be a drop box, um, and it, and in that drop box, there'll be a selection that says share the joy of needlework. And then when you hit that, you'll actually be given the the full kit with the share of joy of needlework chart already in it yes ready and, to go and that'll be what comes to you from her etsy shop mm -hmm. then for those of you who purchase the pattern as it is like i did initially um that will be available the share the joy of needlework motto on the pdf drop box that's associated with that pattern so you won't have to purchase yeah. another set of charts, she will give you the PDF for that custom motto, Share the Joy of Needlework. Yes. So yes. that's great. There yes. is another step in our collaboration with um, Beth, but we're going to announce that at another time. Yeah. And she was very nice and very gave sweet. us two sets of the pattern. It, it already has the motto in the pattern with Yes. The choose your own motto border. Yes. Yeah, so she passed along to, for us to pass along to you. So um, we figured that as long as you mention Beth in your comment, you'll be entered in then to, to uh, be receiving one of these patterns. And also please be a subscriber. Uh, and then on our next video, we'll be able to announce the winners and get your patterns out to you so you can stitch along with us. This is sort of a subscriber tribute twist because yeah. We didn't want to give these to people who didn't want to participate. Right, right. So we decided we would let you decide mm -hmm. your participation level in this particular subscriber tribute. Yeah. So if you're interested, <laughs> please subscribe. And then also make sure you mention Beth in the uh, comment section. Yes. And um, they are. thank you so much, Beth. That is yes. so sweet. Oh, my goodness. We well, can't wait to see you again the next time we That's see you. so sweet. This I has love, been so much love, fun. I love, love the pattern. So we actually got out the pattern to start it today, to christen it today. Yes. <laughs> we have threads, we have That's fabric. what we're going to be working on. And you might remember our video after we went on our retreat, we bought our fabric at Salty Yarns. Mm -hmm. This is classic homespun. It's um, 30 count. And we're doing it in a little different size than the pattern is. It's done one, it's done over two on 40 count. So mm -hmm. it's a 20 count stitch when you're done with it. Mm -hmm. Ours will be 30 count. Yeah, Beth actually does, this This model is stitched on Coco uh, by Weeks That Works. Yeah. Oh, and 
you did say this is a weeks that we picked out, right? Yes, it's a third. I did but not. It's, it's awesome. a thirty count weeks. It's much heavier this than the normal. This must be that new Zweigart base, don't you think? Because it is so nice. It's certainly different than the last. It's not yeah. like the straw no, I stitched on no. last, or even the no. what was the one we did. It feels like it has more meat to it. I mm -hmm. like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Much more stabilized. Yeah. There yeah. was um, on our retreat with Kathy Haberman the was it called gunmetal that the oh, weeks that yes. we stitched on yeah but that was still fairly loose mm -hmm. fabric yeah because I definitely had to stick that on a hoop yeah so let me show you the colors the colors we the colors that she has um, are gorgeous in the pattern let her, me hold them yeah, up her here. model yes it's um between weeks dye works and classic color works uh, and there's also some general art so a hodgepodge but they're really really beautiful very pretty um, she does have this purple in her pattern which is Concord right here and I'm not really that much of a purple person so that's the only color that I'll be changing and I'm gonna throw in um, sweet potato instead of the uh, the Concord I brought in a needle to work with yeah. And in the timing, when we brought it in and sat down, I have misplaced my needle, so oh, yeah. I'm digging for another one. <laughs> I do want to find it, though. I can't even imagine where I would have put it. It'll probably be in my shirt when we're all done. <laughs> <laughs> I do tend to do that. We had a busy week this week so far. We were at a day treat in oh, Strasbourg. Yeah. We had so much fun. Yes, we did. Oh, my goodness. We had the best, best group of ladies come out to our day treat. We had so much fun getting to talk with and meet everyone. And I mean, some we had met before, but yes. lots of new faces and everyone, we were making this comment on the ride home that it wasn't clicky at all. Everyone joined in as a group. Yes. We getting had... to know one another. And that was the best. And, and it was just the way it developed. The conversation just developed that yeah. way. It was a yeah. lot of fun. It was a lot of fun and everyone wants to do it again. So, that's that's good news. I and think we, we'll have to get a bigger room, though. And we talked about expanding it so that if these ladies want to come back, then we can also add other ladies who might want to join. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a lot, a lot of fun. And then there were some ladies um, who just wanted to stitch what we were working on, and mm -hmm. they got the pattern and kitted it, and were doing that on their, um, on their own. Yep. And... Kylie is one of those ladies. Hi, hi, K Club. <laughs> hi, girls. Um, they, uh, Kylie, for her birthday last year in February, this this past February, we made a deal that since I didn't know what she wanted and she couldn't come up with any ideas, I said, "You've always wanted to go to one of the stitching shops with me." I said, "Why don't we go to a shop and we'll outfit you with whatever project, everything you need to do a project," mm -hmm. and that just never came about. So. I showed her our day treat project and she loved it and I said okay my mom will fill you out or outfit you with everything yeah. you need to do it so I got all of that while we were at hodgepodge for her yeah we started the day at hodgepodge and it was so much fun because Marcia shut the doors unless it was anyone it was it, she shut the doors to the anyone who was not a part of the day treat yes which was neat and then she put out a nice spread of food for yeah. us we started with um, breakfast we had muffins and date bread and fruit I know and then she brought out some finger sandwiches and cheese and crackers and, yep. and all kinds of fun stuff yep um, and then when we were all finished shopping we headed over to the library and um, just like I said had a great time getting to know each other so much fun <laughs> the librarian she came back in the room about 2 30 I think it was and she goes you guys are all still here <laughs> <laughs> we will be here till the end <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> I guess we were, none of us were leaving the room for any reason either. I no, don't think just anybody to go to the restroom. Out. That was yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And thank you to the sweet people that brought charts along um, for us that we can share with our subscribers at a future date. Thank yes. you very much for that. That was really neat. And we had a woman in our group mm -hmm. who comes to Hodgepodge fairly regularly and we actually met her the first time all the way down at Salty Yards because yes. we hadn't connected with her at Hodgepodge. Yeah. And yeah. her name is Ethel. Mm -hmm. And she's quite the designer. Uh, yeah, she was so sweet. She actually 
designed a pattern and stuck it in everyone's treat bag and um, also blessed us with one. Yep. But look how darn cute that is. And she finished it as a little uh, oh, yeah. pillow, a little small, yeah, and it was did. adorable. Isn't I can't wait to stitch it. That is so cute. How sweet was that? I was looking at the pattern yeah. yesterday. I pulled it out, looked at it, and it's so professionally done. Yeah, she did a great the job. Graphics, she's like, oh, marvelous. I was just messing around. <laughs> <laughs> Mess some more. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, we had a great time. We had a couple ladies who came from uh, a fairly good distance. Mm -hmm. They had the one lady left, um, Kim left around three, I think, yeah. to head back. Yeah. yeah. And so. We missed her for the last hour we were there, but... Yeah. Now, are you starting? I am going to start... Here's the million dollar question. Are you starting in the corner or are you starting in the middle? Upper left corner. Okie dokie. Then I will start in the middle. All Is right. that good? All right. Because then our designs will go different ways. Okay. As we show them. All right. Good? Good. Okay. I'm going to dive into the flowers first. And actually, the funny <laughs> thing was, when I looked at it, I'm starting with the Concord you're replacing. <laughs> I thought, oh, that's too funny. <laughs> now I have to figure out, um, I want to just choose which color I want for my letters in the middle then. Now, do you think you're going to do one over one, or are you going to use two on the 30 count? Are you going over two? Are you stitching over two? Did we get it big enough to do it over two? I thought we were doing over one. That's what I thought too. Okay. So I was wondering, are you using two threads over one, or just one over one? I think one. Okay. I'm pretty sure one. All right. Oh, I don't, there like is a color flower. in here that I think is beautiful. Look at the storm clouds. Yes. That's not pretty. It is. And that is by Gentle Art. Is that a new one or not? Or is that? I think it's own? new to us. Okay. It's yeah. I haven't used it before. Mm. It's beautiful. It came up in something else, or really, maybe really it was pretty. when I bought this that I got it. Uh, very very pretty. Might be another one of her patterns I have that has it too. But I I lose track. I actually had to put blinders on <laughs> and get off the internet because I was looking at all the new things that were out and then I was trotting around picking up new things and it's like, oh, you gotta put a lid on this, restrict it to your retreat days or a shopping day here and there. Um, but I used to be able to keep up with what was coming out when and, and we do have um, our magazines, but I actually have not even had a lot of magazine time Ugh, to no, see when new neither. colors come out or fabrics. Um, Me neither. Which magazine used to do such a nice job? They actually had a, an article at the very beginning that was new to the market. That was cross stitch and needlework, wasn't it? Oh. I think that was okay. the magazine that okay. isn't around anymore. But they used to open their doors, their covers on the magazine with um, things that are new. And that was a lot of fun because they, they didn't just restrict it to threads and fabric. You could look at gadgets. <laughs> Not that I liked looking at gadgets. But. Okay, I think I made up my mind. I think I'm going to do my words in terrapin. Oh, okay. I don't know what it calls for, but I'll check. You'll probably need another one then too, huh? Yeah. Yes, possibly. 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 I went away last weekend to the beach um, to... Where did I go? Oh, Rehoboth. Delaware. They had a Sea Witch Festival they have every year and so our, some of the girls from, from the beauty salon went and it was so much fun. They have a great Halloween parade. The only thing is Sunday is the day that they do the, uh, the pet parade and it was raining so the pet parade was canceled. Pet parade? People walk their pets? They dress them up. Oh my goodness. You should have seen all In the Halloween dogs. outfits? Yes. Oh that's funny. It's so cute. That oh, is okay, funny. so she does it in storm clouds. The words? Yeah. Okay. I was thinking that would be pretty when I saw that. Yeah, I just, I think I'm going to do that. For me, for my house, mm -hmm. I like the little tint of green in mm -hmm. this terrapin. I think I'm going to do that. So, can I see, I'm going to look at my storm clouds because I was thinking that <laughs> the storm, storm clouds? clouds had some green in it too. But Mine are a little more on the blue side. Okay, terrapin is definitely the green one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now, see, look at mine. Isn't that weird? See the green? Let me see yours. Oh, sorry. Can you see it in that light? Oh, yeah. Isn't that funny? Yeah. 
Yeah, but there's a lot of there's a lot of blue in there it too. There is definitely more so blue I, than green. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the yeah. other one. It's a really pretty color though. Mm -hmm. Look at how complimentary those two are. I know. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Very cool. But I want to see with if it's, my blues. I really that would be like, pretty to do mine in the storm clouds, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. Well, I want to see where else the, the storm clouds are used because if that's the only place, I don't want to not use it. It's a beautiful color. It is the uh, that's the only place. I was gonna say I don't think it's used it's anywhere. It's not else. on the key, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should put that in where your conquered is. No, I really want to do this. This sweet, sweet potato, potato is gonna look really sharp next to the other colors that are there around it. So I want to do that. Well, maybe I'll use storm clouds then, because I really like that color too. We shall see. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I um, did I mention that um, anyone who's going to stitch this along with us, if you are on Instagram, let's all you use did not mention that. Okay, let's all use the hashtag Share the Joy of Needlework so that we can all watch each other and follow each other. That'd be fun. Hmm. And if you would like to send your Uh, pictures of your work um, to our email address. If you're not on Instagram, then we can show some of those from time to time too. Hmm. So okay. send a snapshot. I think we did a little of that with the round robin that last time. Yeah. It's getting very, very, very windy out there. I hear that. And we are stitching with the door open and Ivan is out there so he may wander in here pretty soon. He was stretched out in the living room last time I saw him. Oh hey, I also brought along, in our last video, I brought up that Distress It again. Yes. And a lot of you wanted to know where to get that. So I did bring it along. It says, it's just called Distress It and it's by Hooked on Rugs. And in the drop down section of this video, we will put the website that you can go to to get the Distress It. Um, and I think it comes in different antique colors too, doesn't it? I believe there, Remember there's, there isn't is. Remember, there like a, is it like light, medium, dark, or? I think that's what it is, yes. And okay. And we will definitely Although mine that. doesn't say. But anyway, then you'll be able to, to get that if you're interested. You'd be surprised when you go out and look. Oh look, there's more colors. Yeah. <laughs> does it look good with one thread? It does. Two would have been really not good. Yeah, especially over one. If we were doing it over two, then mm -hmm. that would have been pretty, but yeah. I think we'll be good to go. I I do recall. If we were doing it over one. I'm going to be excited as we go along to see how I want to finish it. I'm waiting to find something to finish Carrie's mermaid on. I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby mm. and peruse their aisles mm -hmm. and see what I see. I like the way it was finished in the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine, the way they framed it. But it would be really neat with her having a new place if I could find something decorative, like you finish the box for Stitch Every Day. If I could find something maybe not quite that big, mm -hmm. but something that that would fit in, even if it was like a jewelry box for her bedroom. Oh, okay. Something to put in her new house. That, okay. That would be fun. So she did not say she wants to hang it on a wall? I didn't or anything actually like that? ask her. I suppose I should. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure she'll be happy with anything. <clears throat> she's going to, Carrie's going to start stitching again. That's going to be fun. I'm sending her a kit. I bought the things that, we were talking about hodgepodge. I bought Kylie's things at hodgepodge. I bought the threads for Kelsey's project. She's stitching Tinkerbell out of one of those English magazines that I used to subscribe to. They have a lot of patterns for younger Aww, stitchers. Do you remember they? that? When we used to get those magazines. Which it, one? 
the English magazines we used oh, to get. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. where Tinkerbell came from. Yeah. And so I got the DMC. They stitched it all in anchor, so I had to convert it first. Oh, all right. And then I bought the DMC equivalents for hers. And then Carrie wants to stitch the Anchors Away pattern by mm -hmm. Kathy Haberman. So I bought that pattern when we were down at Salty Yarns, and I got the floss for that yesterday. It, it was a two-step process. I picked out some floss, and then I went to Deb, and then I handed her the floss, and she had read the texts from Carrie about what Carrie wanted for a bolder look than what was on the pattern. So then we went back and Deb tuned up my thread choices. We kept a couple of them and then changed the tone on a couple of other ones. You kept it more with the coral than I did the red. Is mm -hmm. that what we did, I mm -hmm. think? Yeah. Yeah, and the green is a little brighter. Yeah. All right, well, I'm just going to do storm clouds then because I don't want to not use it. It's pretty. It's pretty. It is. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is the time of year where everybody, if people were to sit down right now and send us a note saying what their weather was, wouldn't that be interesting? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because people have snow. Some people, like Carrie's, in Florida it was 88 two days ago. Oh, yeah? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not that way in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I think Kevin's proud. Well, Kevin puts off wearing a jacket as long as he can. He's not a jacket person. But mm -hmm. I don't think he's probably in his jacket yet. Oh, you got the needle minder on there too from uh, the other project we did. I do. That's cute. Very cool. Some are pins and orts. Which, by the way, that pattern is available now. Oh, good. So. Good. Out there. Want me to show it? Hold it a little closer? Sure. Again. Okay. This was our jamboree class. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. It was. And I did finish my homework for that one. Yes, you did. I did. <laughs> I didn't have company for a week before that one. <laughs> <laughs> and it really isn't my excuse. Or shouldn't be because we got that stitch, pre-stitch early this year. Mm -hmm. It's just because it wasn't a lot, I just kind of set it aside until we got closer. My bad. Did you hear? I was outside the other day and I was going through the gate with Ivan and I happened to glance at the top of the post and there was a bug there that I have never seen before. <laughs> it looked like the shape of a Katie did. Its wings were folded sort of in a tent style together like this lengthwise down its body. Mm -hmm. But it had dots, like somebody had put polka dots all over its wings, hmm. and they were sort of a reddish brown color, the base color. Okay. And the dots were really deep brown. And our neighbors were out, and I said, Oh, there's something I've never seen before. There's a really weird bug over here. And I described it. He goes, Oh, I'll bet it's one of those lantern bugs. I said, What? He goes, Yeah. There's some kind of new bug that came into Pennsylvania that's eating the trees. Yeah, it's a lantern fly. And it's spotted yeah. just like that. Yeah. Do, do you have a picture of it? No. We actually had one at our house. Yeah, that's what I was looking at on top of the post. They're weird. But you're sure it's one? Well, he said he'd seen them, so I oh. was assuming that's oh, okay. what it was. We Why looked, do they look different? Well, we looked it up online, and uh -huh. the one, it actually landed on McKenna. It was the <laughs> funniest thing ever. We were on the front porch, and they're big. They're big. This was about... And, um, that big. That sucker landed right on her thigh, and she's she's just stood there frozen. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get it off! Get it off! So I went and got paper towels and got it off and killed it. You are supposed to kill them if you see them, oh. and you also have to report. There's a website you go then to to report that yes, you saw one at your house. Oh. So look it up online if that's the one that, that it was. Okay. Then report it because so, they want to keep track of where they are. Okay. Yeah, because. Um, so did what I described sound like what you saw? It could be. Okay. Um, 
This they have one, smooth wings. Was it like the one that we found? There's a couple. I mean, I guess the pictures all are kind of similar, but they look a little bit different. And the underneath is red. It was reddish brown. So like red, red. I didn't. Um, it was sitting up on a post. But so anyway, I didn't actually... they want to keep track of where those suckers are. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, because they're having a hard time with them. I certainly had never seen it before. You know what? I think I do need a different needle. This one is too fat. Okay. Thank you. Yep, I got more here, and then there's some more up there too. <laughs> Today's a needle day. Isn't I remembered it? my highlighter, but I forgot my needle. <laughs> Usually, I forget my highlighters. Is that one thinner? It yes, perfect. Is, is it? Okay. Perfect. Yep. Thank you. Uh huh. Ask Liz. <laughs> I still want to find out where I put my Thanks, Liz. easy flag needle. Watch me have dropped it in here, and I just can't see. Did you stick it. it in your shirt? Well, that's what I thought initially, but I'm not seeing it. Mm -hmm. It's probably in here, and I'm just not seeing the end of it. So, other than our day treat that we had, Hello. to what day was that? Tuesday. Tuesday. I haven't stitched at all. I didn't stitch before that, and that was the only stitching I have gotten done since. I don't know. It's been a while. Yeah, you've been busy. So this is nice. And if anybody watched um, on Instagram, the kids did jump in the pool. <laughs> they did christen it. They didn't stay in long. Huh. But and it, the water temp was 50 degrees when they jumped in, and they, <laughs> and they did it at night too. So it, oh. it was cold. The wind picked up. <laughs> that would have been okay. I found one easy glide, but I'm not sure it's the small one. I'm gonna wait. Oh, okay. I use this one instead because. If I tried to do it with a 24 on this 30 count, I'd be in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, this is much better. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So this, the hanging out and stitching today is great. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, speaking of, when we were at um, their day treat, who, I think it was Esther that um, had the mistake, that made the mistake in um, her stitching, right? I didn't. And, I didn't know she did. You mean and, Ethel. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Ethel. Okay. See, okay. Liz and I have a problem with, with, with you know, you think of like an, an Ethel, she, she's young and she's vibrant looking and she just doesn't match her name. So it's so hard, <laughs> I think, to just remember that because I, I... And it's funny because when we first met her, we knew her name was more of an old fashioned name. Like yeah. my niece is named Genevieve, but oh, she goes wow. by Jenny. Yeah. And yeah. so Deb kept saying Esther. I said, no, Esther's more common around here. I would have heard it. Mm -hmm. This isn't a, that common. I don't think it's Esther. Mm -hmm. And yet that's what keeps mm -hmm. coming back to our minds, mm -hmm. but it's Ethel. 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 Ethel, yes. But it does help a little bit because she said, just remember Lucy and Ethel. Yes. So that helps a little bit. But um, yeah, anyway, so she needed to frog and she didn't feel like frogging. She was just sitting there. But um, it, it was really cute because um, who was it that, oh gosh, Oh, I'm trying to keep everybody straight right across the table. Well, she ended up frogging for her, and it was so sweet. She grabbed it and just got it done for her. Aww. Um, oh, it'll come to Sandy. Sandy was across the table from her, and she got it done. That was nice. It's just probably easier to frog someone else's. Maybe. You didn't put the stitches in. Yeah. Yeah, it's not as painful. No. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> well, what they did was I... But that's a true friend, somebody that'll frog for you. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this in a hoop in a few minutes. I debated on whether I wanted to set up a, a lap stand for this. Yeah? <clears throat> I think for now I'm going to do it just as I am with my Mighty Bright Light and in a hand because then I don't have to fight my my reach. Mm -hmm. What I did was I you, you ever look at a pattern and in your mind you see the stitches and you think okay 
that was the first row. The next row is just one out farther on either side or is even with either side, but you don't skip any or however you remember what you're stitching. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I looked at that and I thought it was one out the second row on either side of that top row, but it is not. I just can't get over how different this fabric is. <laughs> Man. It is when, when... That's awesome. Who was it who told me? Somebody, when I mentioned what we were going to stitch on, mentioned it being weeks, and I said, well, I was thinking it would be because it was 30 count, and they do a lot of 30 count, but it did not feel like it. Yeah, this is great. And this color is very pretty. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's a nice neutral. I think I like it better than stitching on like parchment. Mm. Oh, by the way. But remember, who, whoever would like to do the stitch along, stitch on anything you want, whatever count you want. Mm -hmm. Ada, it doesn't matter. Nope. It'll be beautiful on anything. And bear in mind, when you look at it, where do you want to use it for? Yeah, where do you want to where do you want to put it? How do you want to finish it? Do you have one of those really neat Sudbury trays you want to put it inside of, or or, or make a frame? pillow? Yep. Hmm. And this can easily be stitched on Ada. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. Nope. We were hodgepodge yesterday and I was picking out fabric for Tinkerbell for Kelsey and I was looking for something light. Remember I had that mm -hmm. ivory in my hand? Mm -hmm. The ivory turned out to be 11 count. I, I wasn't paying attention. I was Ooh. just going through looking at color. So I thought, well, I don't want to do that. So I started comparing it to other colors without respect to the count. And it turned out to match the, I believe it's bone or bisque. I'll have to double check. But anyway, I did find a 14 count that was almost a perfect match for it. Good. You you saw it when, when I grabbed it, but um, it made me think of the fact that when you're thinking about colors, one company's color description is not necessarily consistent with another company's color description. Like True. one dyer might call it one thing. Oh, yeah. And it's very different. Yeah. Lamb's wool is one of those ones yeah. I think changes a lot too mm -hmm. from one manufacturer. We have kind this of a so short day to day. When, when we used to just get together to stitch and Deb lived up in a, another area in town, we would see each other every few weeks, not regularly. And and we have company now because Rick just came up out of the basement. You should say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's Rick. The voice from beyond. <laughs> His man cave is the basement. <laughs> Who let you up? <laughs> <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> I broke up. <laughs> And if we're ever recording and he's practicing <laughs> downstairs, he plays a mean guitar and has a mm. really nice voice. He likes to do open mics. Yep. But when she used to live up there and we get together, I'd get up there, and this was when I still could stand up straight, <laughs> get up there earlier in the morning and... Um, and we'd start stitching and then we'd get hungry and we'd break and have lunch and then go back to stitching and stay until the kids got off the bus. Um, we had really long stitch days. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Times have changed. <laughs> <laughs> now if we can get together for an hour, we do it. <laughs> I 
think we should definitely build in long stitch days when the pool opens next spring. Definitely. Yes. That will be fun. Yep. I used to do that, you know, when we had our older house and we had a pool there, I would take it out back um, and stitch while the kids were swimming and yep. like before I would get in. Before it got real hot, you know, uh -huh. in the afternoon and it was still shaded. Yep. Yeah. You know, we do have enough fabric to do it over too. Do we? Seriously. Did we buy it for over two? Well, we almost. You, I, yours is cut, it says 13 by 17. And to do it over two and 30 count with a two inch border, it should be 18 by 16. But oh, that would only leave me an inch margin. But what did you have it set for? Two inch. Th this is over one then. 11 by 10. What's your cut? Same? I, you know, I don't, I didn't bring my little Here, paper. Here, let's hold yours up to mine. Yeah, let's see. See what your fabric looks like. Because she cut them both for us. Yeah. At the same time. That's weird. Oh, shoot, I have mine in here, but you can probably yeah. still tell. Yeah. Yeah, it same. It looks pretty much the same. Same. Yeah. So, it takes 18 by... What did that say? 18 by what to do it over to? Oh, sorry. Um, That's all right. Hold on a second. Okay, I pulled that one from there. <laughs> that one is yours. <laughs> I just got them all. We have to frisk her when she leaves to make sure nothing's tucked in her pocket or under her arm. Oh, mercy. Okay, so you, you mean over two? How much do we need? Yeah, you said okay, it was. 30 count over two, two inch border. We need 18 by 16. And that's with a two inch border. Yeah. So that's four inches. 18 by 16 would be 14 by 12. That would leave me one inch. I think this looks larger than 13 inches, though. Don't you? This is 11. Oh. Maybe not, then. No. No, okay. that's pretty much it. Well... I'm thinking I don't know that I want to just have a half inch margin on one side. No, probably not. And I'd probably... <laughs> I dare you. Do it, Liz. I dare you. I double dare you. I'm going to find some really interesting way to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Glued to a canvas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you thinking you would like it better? Well, no, I'm just looking at this thinking it's going to be tiny, which is great, but I probably won't make it into a pillow then. I don't know what I'll do. I just wanted to double check because I wasn't uh -huh. sure if we had enough to do either yeah. or. So, that's all. Originally, I was looking, what did I say I was looking for for a count? Originally, I wanted to do it over one. I was thinking of 32, wasn't I? One, 32, that was Ivan. <laughs> was I thinking of... Um, I don't remember. He's saying hi to the trash truck. Yes, I hear the trash, trash truck. Yeah. That always influences our mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was going on last night, but he heard something. And it wasn't it wasn't after bedtime or anything, but he was busy talking up a storm and even Sunny next door was joining in the conversation. Oh. And you usually never hear from Sunny. <laughs> You wouldn't even know he's there. So I don't know what it was that was. Kind of like um, on uh, 101 Dalmatians, the bark chain. Yes. Oh my gosh, the twilight bark. When I go out with Ivan, sometimes he'll start and then you'll hear the dog over the hill and I'll tell him, look, we're not out here to join in the twilight bark. <laughs> we are out here to go potty. <laughs> that was so funny. And I loved the little dog that stood on the back of the horse and every time he barked, he bounced back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then when he was on the stump doing it, he just bounced mm -hmm. off the stump. That was a cute movie. I haven't mm -hmm. watched that in a long time. Me neither. That was definitely one of their classics. Have you seen the new, or the advertisement for 
DisneyPlus.com, they're calling it. I think it's their streaming channel. Oh, McKenna's already talked about it, yeah. I, I really think that looks appealing to me because I can get access to so many of the movies I don't have. But I don't know what their monthly fee is. Yeah, I don't know, and that's why I'm not getting it because I think I already pay too much for TV. I mean, we don't even watch it half the time. Yeah. So. Well, with me having the air streaming, I'll just drop a subscription to something else for a while mm. and use that as a filler and see if I like it. Because that we don't have we don't have cable with premium channels like that, so we could easily swap out one of our subscriptions. Yeah, like initially, I think I started out with. Smithsonian, Netflix, Amazon is our carrier. We use the Fire Stick, so we have Amazon Prime. And then I think Rick had Direct TV Now, which gave us a limited number of cable channels mm -hmm. through the through the Airstream. Like uh, off of, it was pretty much like having a dish because we used to have Direct TV on the dish, and it, it was similar to that. So we still have that, but now I have Netflix and Stars for movies, and then what's the other one? Oh, I like the British Channel, so I have BritBox and Acorn TV. So those are the ones we get. <laughs> and I could do with one or the other, but I think I've seen just about everything that BritBox has that I'm interested in now. So I'm going to drop them and stay with Acorn. Okay. It is kind of funny how quickly you can go through what you actually are interested in seeing on a subscription channel because they have such a variety and if only certain things appeal to you then you limit yourself right off the bat. To me. So, have you watched any Lost Tapes lately? Uh, let's see, since last week? No. No? No, I have not. Yesterday was our trip to York. I haven't had much time, but I haven't been doing either house stuff or Ivan stuff. <laughs> and then, of course, with to York that lasted longer than we thought it would when I go to York to see my neurosurgeon um, we take Ivan now and a woman that worked at UBS uh, and also was a trainer and she keeps she has a puppy in her home right now uh, she's also a groomer and she opened a business there called Pet Whispers and so Ivan goes to the spa while I go to the doctor's and he gets all cleaned up. So this month I didn't have to bathe him. <laughs> Got to see Sammy. That became an all day event yesterday, so. Just got to watch um, Farm Girl. She just got back from her uh, retreat and uh, boy, did that sound like a great retreat, the Midwest. Yeah, it um, did. Definitely on our list someday. It sounded wonderful. And one of the other um, channels that you've heard us talk about, um, Bendy Sitchy, she she's designing now. Is she? Did you know that? No. Yeah, yeah, she has some really, really cute patterns. So congratulations, Michelle. That's awesome. Is she doing samplers? She or? actually, yeah, she um, she did a reproduction. Okay. Sampler, and then a couple other patterns. So that's really cool. Yeah, and I got to watch uh, Brendan the cereal starter. Oh my gosh, that's just so much eye candy. Oh my word. Oh, so many, so many, oh, so many wonderful things. I just want to live in their craft room. Uh-oh. 
Are you froggy? I am. What? I know. The problem is talk less stitch more. <laughs> I got one of those threads that got. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it. I don't want to. Did it get knotted? No, it frayed on me. Mm. I'm afraid it frayed. Mm. <laughs> you know, I think that happens more when I'm working on small count than when I'm looking on a large account. I think I might. I think my needle might pierce it when I go down through the next mm. stitch. And then if I have to frog, then I'm bringing it out oh. and it's Oh yeah. and it's almost as though I've torn it. I think that's what might make it happen. It's not behaving. No, it's behaving badly. Hmm. We found a show on Oh, now I know why that's not working. It helps when you remember the journey you took to put the stitches in and you're pulling the right thread out when you're mm -hmm. frogging, doesn't it? I forgot I jumped up there and put a stitch in. Um, on that acorn channel, um, Rick and I watch it when we eat and there was a series called Wild at Heart and it had an actor in it that we both recognized, and he was in a British uh, series. I'm going to forget the name of it now, but it was also on BritBox. And it went on for several years, and we enjoyed it. It was pretty much a story set around the pub in the town mm -hmm. and all the people and their lives, so it was kind of fun to watch. And... Now he's in Africa as a vet with a recombined family and he went from being a small animal vet to being a vet in the bush on wild game and and it's really it's been kind of fun to watch. I think I was watching it the other day thinking Logan would like it. Yeah? Yeah. Because they talk a lot about animals habits and and the, I think they're on the Savannah. Okay. I know they're near the Mara. Um, and I think that would be Kenya. I think that's where they are. But it's pretty cool. Because they film it right... I think it's filmed on location. Wow. So that's fun to watch, too. I wonder if they have spotted lantern flies. Yeah. <laughs> I forget where they said those things came from. Pretty weird. Probably another one of those stowaway on a container thing. It was, yeah. It was. It was. They're not native around here. Yeah. But that's why they don't have any um, predators. Yet. Raid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that commercial used to be so funny. Yeah. is just completely frayed. So today is, oh my gosh, tomorrow Halloween. is November 1st. Yep, Halloween. All Saints Day tomorrow. Yeah, happy Halloween everyone. I don't even know if they're going to have trick-or-treating around here because the weather's going to be so bad tonight. Really? So windy and so rainy, like downpour kind of rain. Ooh. That a lot of places have postponed trick-or-treat till tomorrow night. Oh. Gonna be that bad. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah. And I thought we were past the rain yesterday. It looked like it had stopped, and when when the morning started, and then it started raining during the day again. And yeah, this evening is not supposed to be very good. Like right, right, you know, at trick or treat time. So yeah. that kind of stinks. I heard an expression on the news the other day. Somebody was talking about trunk and treat. Oh yeah. I'd never heard it called that before. I mean, I knew that people did that uh -huh. at churches and things, uh -huh. but I'd never heard it called trunk and treat. I'm trying to think if that's what we called it. Um, 
But a lot of places are doing that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, instead of taking the kids other places. Yep. They used yeah. to do it at our church. In oh, trick Petri. and trunk. That's what we called it. Trick and trunk. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that's what they called yeah. it. Oh, well, maybe there's two different. It's the same same thing. Yeah. yeah. But I'd never heard that expression with the word trunk in it. Okay. Yeah, however okay. it was that they expressed yeah. it. Yeah. And um, did you see how they do it? No. It's pretty cool because you decorate the whole back of your car. You lift up your trunk lid. And you make it a theme, like okay. whatever your theme is. All right. So you, you really, really just decorate the heck out of your trunk. And then all the cars are lined up in a big parking lot, and the kids just go from trunk to trunk Fun. getting their treats. Fun. Yeah, Fun. it is neat. Well, when we used to, when Rick was a pastor locally before we went to Illinois, um, they had a party at this time of year, but they would make it more of a, harvest party mm -hmm. and uh, they didn't do it using you know the cars and the trunks like that and I think that's a clever idea it is yeah it is pretty neat and that way you know what even if you don't have a neighborhood you can set one up yes and there's so many kids who live way out in the boonies yeah. around here that if they want to trick-or-treat mom and dad are gonna have to take them anyway yeah yeah We lived on a street when Carrie and Kevin were little that had maybe about 30 plus homes on it and it was a cul-de-sac. So that was nice. That's a, a fair number of places to go. But then right next door to us was another um, development that had streets and streets and streets mm -hmm. of uh, semi-detached homes mm -hmm. and you could go over there and stitch mm -hmm. stitch and <laughs> trick-or-treat <laughs> and you could just come back with a pillowcase full of treats oh my goodness <laughs> mom and dad's love to see that yeah how much candy are you bringing home I know oh I used gosh. to just get so much enjoyment out of yeah. coming home and comparing my candy to my sisters and brothers came. <laughs> well, as usual, our time has flown by, Miss Liz. Yes. And, and we're going to let you guys go. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have more than one row done before we get back together again. <laughs> I have my little O. Let me see. O, O. Oh, yes. My I see it from the back. Oh, my little O. There it is. <laughs> um, so anyway, if you haven't um, looked up Heartstring Sampler yet, Please do. That would be awesome to yes. stitch with you, um, to, to share this with you all. That'll be so much fun. And again, if you're interested in these two that we have, take a chance on that and say Beth in your comment and um, definitely be a subscriber. And then on our next video, we'll get to, uh, oops, <laughs> that's Ivan. We'll get to oops. share them with you. <laughs> Can I come say hi? There's that thump, thump, thump. Yes, you can tell he's here. He just walked in. <laughs> he hears, it's really funny because he hears the tone of our voices change. <laughs> oh my God. You want to say my hi? My lap? I think. My lap? There you no. go. Can you look? <laughs> Not my stitching. You look, there you go. Yeah, say hello. <laughs> yes, he's clean. Say, this is my new do. <laughs> You're right in the middle of your two favorite people. All right, you? Ivan. Yeah. What do we say at the end? Ivan, speak. Speak. Aww. <laughs> Gives you kisses. That's, That's good. Always. That's good. <laughs> Share the joy of needlework. Work. See ya. Bye bye.